Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday. The day has come. Mirab is today, Tale of the Dragon. Uh, we slept in the parking lot of England, I think it's called the market. And 7 a.m. That is her getting ready also for recording. What's up? That lift on that element is freaking amazing. It is. There's a nice element over there. And we can see a few elements already uh, coming early, I will say. They maybe want to avoid some kind of traffic, right? Yeah. So everybody's supposed to meet here at 8 a.m. Yeah. So it means most likely they're going to be leaving like 7.30 the most. I mean, yeah, but they're already trickling in. There's people excited to be here, bro. Like us. Yeah, exactly. Right? <laughs> Sleeping in the parking lot just to make sure we're here early exactly. enough for it. All right, so I'm gonna head to the campground, do some recording. The herf is gonna stay here with the drone. I'm gonna go back to take some videos around the campground. And you're gonna see this video in both of our channels. So make exactly. sure you guys subscribe to Herf channel, Herf Elements, right? Yes, sir. Herb's Element, you know it. Sounds good, so let's do it, bro. Heck yeah. <laughs> you can see the elements now everywhere in every road, on the gas stations, on the markets. So I just got to the campgrounds and I already passed like 25 elements in the 10 minutes drive that I did. And people are just meeting there. There is an element owner here making some breakfast very cool he got a feed element uh, set up and here is there is more elements just uh packing up to meet at the market so the city is completely full of elements today there's elements on the road on the market on the campgrounds on the gas stations just everywhere there's another one over there if you guys can see that the, the kiwi one there is an orange one on the right so just keep driving. Right and left, just elements everywhere. Just gonna go around the campground really quick. Just so you guys can get an idea uh, where to come, what what is around. It's not just about the meetup, it's just also about the community. They hanging out at the campgrounds two or one day before the main event. A day after on Monday is gonna be another like little mini meetup. And um, hello. Hi. Hi. And then, hello. Uh, At the market that we're gonna meet too. So that it is just like plenty of elements. Let's go around just to check. So I will say that most elements will stay tonight at the campground and it's gonna be fun just looking at this everybody's setups when they are camp once they are camping. This is where I stayed uh, yesterday. More elements, elements everywhere. <laughs> Hello. It's like an element invasion. So there is more. More elements over there. Let's go, let's drive around to show you the most that I can. The campground is beautiful. Uh, they have some cabins too. 
so you can either get your own spot like this one has their own spots or in the other side where most of the elements were uh, that's like an open field or also you can rent a cabin that there is showers too element over there in the other side I didn't notice that it was more cam size in the other side so looks like I'm gonna hit but what a beautiful morning today here in Bryson so now I'm heading back to the market where everybody's meeting right when you go out from the campground heading to the market there is a gas station with pretty decent uh, gas prices so that's another place that you can fill up your gas if you're planning to also go to tail of the dragon after the meetup at the market that up because i wasn't sleeping in it oh okay i'm here with chuck and you have a youtube channel right chuck yeah chester's adventures Make sure that you guys uh, subscribe to his channel. So what do you do in your channel and what do you use your element for? Um, I use my element for stealth camping and parking lots in the city, like in Orlando. So if I'm, um, say, blogging Disney, if I want to spend the night, I just sleep in the back of my element, local Cracker Barrel. So, but yes, my channel is all about theme parks or roadside attractions, either one. Uh, yeah. That's good to do because uh, hotel prices right now right, are insane. Hotel in Orlando is $180 a night. Yeah, so I'm definitely saving a little bit of money. Uh, let's check out your yep. setup. Let's see what you All got right. there. It's just a basic setup. We got some, some Amazon mattresses. I got my little, my little drawer down here. I've got my, uh, got my shade covers for nighttime. There's some things I didn't bring along. I have a Dometic refrigerator. I have a solar panel that goes in the basket. And I have a Blue Eddy. I didn't bring this along because I'm staying in a cabin here, so. Nice, yeah. I like your setup. It's very simple and efficient. Exactly. exactly Lightweight, right? And all this, I can pull it out if I don't need it. Because I'm also a handyman on the side. So this becomes a, my handyman vehicle. And you came all the way from Florida. Jacksonville, Florida. And I also live in Orlando too, part time. Representing the so. Florida element uh, yep. team. Right here. We've got the new seat covers, which I just put in three weeks ago. And you got the They're center comfy. console too. Yeah, center console. Yeah, it's awesome. A, also got little powder coating my first time ever powder coating a bow cover that looks clean and i'm getting ready to start doing it more often as well looks like you take pride of your element oh, in and out yes i put the larger battery in bow covers so, um, just everything that you show me on your channel miguel sounds good <laughs> thank you for following we the following is mutual yeah new headlights which definitely upgrade it. If, if anybody's got the older headlights, definitely get the newer and looking headlights. They definitely upgrade your elements. Sounds good. Chuck, yeah. thank you so much for showing me uh, your element. No problem. Are you camping tonight? Um, no. You're leaving back to town? Back to. I will, I'll, I'll go back to my cabin and then I'll probably pack up and head out. I'm thinking about going to um, a Pigeon Forge. Oh, cool. I've never been to Pigeon Forge. So all the elements are coming up now. There is so many rigs to see. Not sure if it's gonna be enough time to check all the rigs. Hello. I think I'm gonna wait a little bit longer when more people comes. Let's see if we just find something around here. That's a nice element up there. Hey, hello, Phoenix. Um, it's a pretty cool element too, right here too.
Yeah. And the Salomon is uh, selling a lot of parts, so. Oh, that's, that must be you, Logan. I, I think I saw you driving year. by, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, can you show me what parts you got? Oh, yeah, sure. Let's go through it. I don't have as many as David, but I got some accessories. David brought some parts too? This is me. Yeah, okay, so let's see. Think. So, um, we've got a uh, 2009, 2011. Do they go up yep. to 11? Yeah, 911. Console, overhead console, got the bracket, all the uh, wiring harness, all that good stuff. Some mud flaps. I was thinking about not even getting rid of that, anything time to clean it up. But that's a SC middle mat carpet. We've got um, just some random stuff, some uh, fender trim pieces and the cargo cover. I've got a steering wheel volume control kit, intermittent wiper kit. And uh, cups and stickers and SC console. This is a uh, OEM trailer wire harness. And nice. That's pretty much the, the rundown. Come on, you got the tables. Got the table legs, legs too. And in the back, we've got the, the, uh, the dog friendly edition on this element. Wow. You got all the accessories that every element owner wants. Yes, exactly. You got an SC central trim. console. Yep. Got the bottom of the door trim there. And um, uh, the interior is completely custom. So, uh, for example, if you let's want to check it out, me, let's check it out. This uh, dog edition is part of your setup, right? You're it not is. selling that. Not selling. Okay. It, no. I'm sure somebody will try to buy it. From yeah, it. for sure. So what I did this week was I installed the SC door cards, and I had them reupholstered black because I kind of want to do the blackout theme with this one. Um, with the white uh, seats, and then I did the seatbelt delete because this element is a 2003. Um, and then I, I, when I transferred to the newer seats, I wanted to start using these seat belts versus the ones in the doors, and I don't have four, seat, you know, six seat belts in the car. So I deleted the seat belts and did Raptor liner on all the uh, pillar trims, except for the front ones, which are custom reupholstery. And then uh, that looks pretty nice. Thank you. And then uh, of course the black headliner, black everything on the ceiling. We've got all the dash trim pieces, the titanium, and then the custom painted dash uh, tan. That doesn't exist. Um, that's custom. And then actually, that steering wheel is OEM steering wheel. Um, it was in really rough condition. I got it from Logan Ogden a while back and had it um, completely, essentially rebuilt, but that is all OEM material. Um, was able to track some down. Took me several months. But yeah, this is uh, this is it. It's got all the carpets and SC console, um, Molly panels sponsored by HRG Off Road as well as the lift kit, and that's pretty much it. And How many inch uh, lift kit do you it's have? It's a three inch lift kit with uh, it's the ultimate lift kit that they offer. It comes with the subframe drop, and uh, it comes with the uh, subframe drop, the drivetrain drop, the rear differential drop for if you have four wheel drive. Um, and then three inch spacers for all of these front towers. Um, I love it. I put it in probably in about two days uh, just because I wanted to take my time and make sure it was done right. And then I got some Pop and Wild Peak tires put on as of yesterday morning. Those are awesome too. They pair really well with the lift kit. I think I need to run some spacers, uh, but it's not, not too bad. It doesn't rub at all yet, uh, which is nice. Um, yeah. That looks really nice. We've got, of course, yeah. Good old, uh, it's uh, really dirty because I came out here this morning. <laughs> but um, yeah, got some uh, Amazon headlights and fog lights. Got a light bar on the top. My remnants of uh, my last year's element uh, rally number. <laughs> cool. Um, and then on the top of the roof, we've got an Apache helicopter cargo box. And it's real off of a real Apache helicopter. It's for fiber optics. Nice. And um, then we've got Rockline Grill. Rapid line, uh, over garnish from the bottom. Where do you get these uh, mounts right here? Oh, this is from Counterproductive, right? That actually, yeah. those are from Rob DZ. Uh, oh, DZ, I didn't know that DZ has that style DZ, too. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I know, yeah, DZ, uh, DZ made those for me. I've had those on every kind of time I wear. Got it. Uh, but DZ made those, the ones for the light bar, the ones for the fog lights on the bottom. I'm hoping to get a DZ rack at some point awesome. uh, because everything I have on my roof is for sure over my uh, weight capacity, but it is what it is. <laughs> and you did the install all yourself, right? This is all done myself. Yes, it's got 336,000 miles on it and 
the only thing that I had to do is replace the transmission on it. Um, and the reason that I had to do that was completely my fault. <laughs> I had this bad habit of like shifting it when I wasn't supposed to, it being an automatic. Um, and after years and hundreds of thousands of miles, it finally wore out. And so when I would go to change gears, it just wouldn't stick into each position, which mm -hmm. apparently nobody's ever heard of before. Um, it ended up being something internal, so I had to swap it out. Um, but it's got a, the transmission on it has I think 100,000 miles now, but that's the only thing that's done differently to this car that's not original. So you did a pretty good job. I'm impressed Thank that you. you converted a, like a, what year is it? A 2000? It's a 2003, yep. Yeah, and you yeah. basically converted to like an SC yeah, and a dog much. edition. Exactly. Like you it's got all the best stuff. and yep. make it a Thank one you. best view that you can. 100%. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, uh, I love it. It's, a, it's the, it's, I wouldn't trade it for any other vehicle. Are you sponsored by ToasterParts.com or are you ToasterParts.com? Okay, cool. So yeah. there it is. Do you want to li <laughs> leave your uh, web page again so people can know where to find parts? Yeah, so it's ToasterParts.com and then we have Instagram um, and I think we, yeah, we do have a Facebook page to both ToasterParts. Um, and the website is being rebuilt currently. It's going to be a lot better than it currently is. Um, and then in addition to that, um, HRG Off-Road is also kind of part of us, so definitely check them out as well. Give them a, a shout for a lift kit or the Molly panels too. So. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you for sharing all your knowledge and everything that you've done so to your element. Yes, sir. Uh, hopefully so much. this video can help other yes. people, right? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Anything that you guys need parts-wise, hit me up for sure. Sounds good. Happy Make sure you help. guys hit up uh, toasterparts.com. Let's go check out more elements on the Omni Blue right here. Let's go around here. Everybody start getting together. Um, I didn't really count how many they are right now. Can you guess a number how many elements are here right now? Uh, just guess a number. 70, more or less. 70, we're okay. More. We're expecting like 140, 130. Awesome. We'll see though. Let's see how it goes, right? Yeah. The day is still early, so... There's more people over there. I'm gonna check it out what's going on there. Looks like they, they brought some parts. <laughs> so, there's Phoenix selling some uh, like Honda Element goodies. Oh, this is all of the Phoenix. Hello. Oh, I was hoping somebody would have a <laughs> <laughs> Recording at your past, what you got here for sale? Uh, visors, early models, the good ones. Even yeah, if you have a, even if you have a uh, old one, that's the ones you want. Pilot, intermittent Everybody's wiper so switches, nice. real intermittent wipers. Quarter window patch covers that everybody loses. Ignition switch. Tailgate cables that everybody breaks. And backseat headrest from the early gen. Awesome. I'm pretty sure you're going to sell all of them here later on. <laughs> Get some money for, for the helps, gas, helps, right? Helps, helps the cover trip costs. Exactly. Where do you come from? Uh, Kentucky, Northern Kentucky. Kentucky. Wow. Yep. How many miles is that from here? Uh, probably 300, I guess it was, maybe. Huh? I'm not even sure I didn't look. Awesome. <laughs> it's our fourth year, but I don't, I don't know. Five, six hour drive, so. Yeah, thank you for showing me the parts yeah. that you got over there. So, no guys, let's go around, see you around. All right. A pretty cool element right here too. I like that Kiwi one. It has some tattoos all around. It looks fire. This. It's one of my favorite colors, the khaki element. Is it a manual transmission? Let's check it out. Yes, it is. Uh, one of the un unicorns. I think that's the first khaki element that I've seen so far. Let's see if there is another one. We will have it in video if I see another one. So that's, the, that's one so far. Oh, I like this setup a lot with a single bed. Amazing. Hello. 
That one is pretty cool too. Hello. That one is lifted really high. Oh man. Yeah, that looks really nice. Showing her, I think that's the most lifted element I've ever seen. So far, yes, that's the most lifted. I even seen in all the mirrors that I've been. I don't know that's, how it's going to do on the dragon though. I mean, that's that's, that's going to be hard. I don't want to have to dig it out every time. But... What is your so name that, and what year element do you have? How's it going, YouTube? My name's Igor. This is a 08 element. Uh, it's a pretty simple element. It's a 2008 uh, EX model. So 243,000 miles on it. <clears throat> In order to use the wire, not much modifications. All most of them are on the outside. LED headlights, the bug deflector. So I didn't want to do anything on the bumper lights. All I did was put some. Um, I think I've seen an Instagram post where somebody did the same thing. I like the look, clean and simple. LED bar, simple wiring system. Um, that's from an 03 element. I found a pretty nice one. And you customized the brackets, right? I did, yeah. Custom made, CNC machined. Uh, brackets that Moa, uh, they literally clamp right into the frame of the, uh, of the car. So. Nice. Pretty simple setup. You have to take the buffer off. Though. But I really like those. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, they don't they don't light up or anything. But I mean, I know it's a, it's more of an aesthetic thing. Right now. Looks clean though. Appreciate it, appreciate it. What else you got here? I see you have a Nauni, a roof rack. The only thing I have in the uh, Yakima rack is a couple of chairs and a sleeping bag. But the uh, ARB awning, as you can see on this side. Let's go check it out. Yeah, just some random stickers to cover up some stuff. So this is, uh, I believe, a 6 by 8 so it folds out 8 feet outwards. It's not bad, I've used it for a couple of years actually. Stock OEM uh, rain deflectors. But as you can see, it's a pretty base stock element. You got this I got part the... 2. That yes, the oh, that's a nice option. one. A third brake light because this window is limo tent, so you can't see anything. And then a, a great uh, black healthy uh, badges. Nice. And the uh, of course the custom custom plate. You have to have that. Exactly right. Break a box. Bread box. That's right. Your lemon looks pretty clean. I like all the details that you done. Like even that you think like you don't have much. It's like you color the emblems, you know. Just the little stickers here and there, yeah. Cool. Yeah, thank you. This is my OA element, so. Thank you for showing us that. It looks pretty clean. Thank you, Igor. Check there is a registration yeah, yeah. line right here. I will guess this is for the raffle or something like that. I think it's, there is over a hundred elements already. I will say like a hundred and twenty. Let's go check on the numbers because they are labeling the number uh, with them. Hello. That's right. Where do you where do you check in? They are labeling There's the cars. And here with Asif. And Asif, can you please show us your element? It's a 2011. And um, I've got the LED stripes right there when you unlock the door. They also work with the uh, signal lights. I can show you. They turn another color. Yeah, so they turn amber with the signal lights. And then I got, um, I got, I went with the black and red theme. I got two different pinstripes, a black and red, and then just red. And then, you know, everything you can see my red. These I got from Pakistan. Um, but I did everything myself the pinstriping, the painting, um, all the vinyl, all the lighting, the paint. Um, I did this. I, I cut in the hole in the bumper. So that's the uh, ox beam brand, all the lighting. That looks pretty uh, clean. Let me turn them on. And then I got the ditch lights right there. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot to turn on the headlights. There's an LED strip on the front. And then these ones work with the signal as well. Just like that. Yeah, just like that. Mine is a turbo. But Miguel, since you're from California, you appreciate my license plate on the back. 
Niner for life. San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> so I grew up in uh, uh, Lodi. Uh Hello, Brayden. Hey, how's it going? Uh, good, I follow you in Instagram. You're a camping element, right? Correct. Um, do you have a YouTube channel too? Uh, I do, it's just the camping element on the YouTube. The camping element. So yeah. make sure you guys subscribe to his channel. So I'm going to leave the link in the description. Uh, can you please show us your element and everything that you've done so far? Yeah, so the most notable thing that everybody knows is, is these large uh, Overland vehicle systems, 180 degree awnings. I have uh, one on each side. And the reason I chose these instead of a 270 was so that I could maintain access here because <clears throat> I have the ladder, of course, from Gobi. And then uh, I installed some Trex deck boards up on the front. You can step up there if you want to. Up okay, on the let's tailgate. check it out. Oop. Gotcha. <laughs> Thank you. You got it there? Yep. Let me see there. Oh, and what so else that. you done to it? So, and of course, I've got my bed platform here that I've still kind of a work in progress. Um, but I designed it so that, you know, I'd be able to fit the Alpacool under here, get the cooler for food and stuff. And this has been plenty big for my wife and I. We've done a bunch of cross-country road trips. Um, and the thing that I really like the most is this straight wall container, which is really basically just a pre-made drawer. And it fits pretty well in the element, uh, fits perfectly underneath my platform. And of course, I built this cabinet, uh, which you know is made so that I can fold all of the panels in this thing. Uh, and under the uh, in the spare tire compartment, I have an EcoFlow River Pro, which is uh, powered by two 100 watt solar panels. Uh, which we can go look at those if you want. Let's check it out. So we got one. 100 watt here on the hood which is just attached with magnets and then you know got to have the spoiler in the front here to hold it down so the wind doesn't get caught underneath it and then there's another 100 watt up on the roof there um, and then i also have an auxiliary connection so i can add another solar panel i have a 300 watt portable panel that i can take out and put anywhere awesome that the sun is uh, and of course got some aerogenics ditch lights there And then inside, I've got both of the Heroes Hot Rod Swivel Seats, passenger and driver. Uh, I recently, actually on this trip, I just picked up a new uh, center console from Fifth Element Camping. How do you like it so far? Uh, I love it because it's designed to work with the swivel seats, so you do not have to take the console out oh, to awesome. swivel the seats. I didn't know they just make this he new redesigned for it the... so that Wow, it would... that's amazing. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. So thanks um, for sharing that. Yeah, no problem. Um, so yeah, the swivel seats are nice. Uh, I set the bed platform so it could kind of be adapted to a table. So all that is is just drops down. You drop this little leg. There's another leg that comes out on the other side when you're doing the bed. It just folds down and those legs lock into these two holes here. So ready to sleep there. And I also have this boat latch which twists and that latches underneath here because when you climb on the platform, this kind of wants to pop up a little bit. So Got it. that keeps it locked in place. Those are the best uh, builds when you can use one thing for multi-purpose. Exactly. Yeah, so that's, that's what your I, bed and table, right? That's what I try to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I wanted it to be multi-use. In a vehicle this small, everything kind of has to do more than one thing. Every lot of space counts, <laughs> right? Exactly. It's which, a storage for us. Yeah. But, you know, this is the... Uh, counterproductive mid-window molly panel. Um, these have been great. I just installed one on the other side. Um, so when we travel, you know, my wife gets that side, I get this side. So now we each got plenty of storage. Pretty cool. Good, you got all prepared. You have a fire extinguisher. Yeah, I got a fire right? extinguisher, fire first aid, got my toiletries. So usually, you know, in the morning, I'll just roll, this rolls out. This is an REI toiletry bag. This rolls out right here. It's got a little mirror on it. Perfect place to, Get ready. I've got hand sanitizer right there too, easily accessible. The cool thing about these panels is that you're utilizing 
I will say a part of the elements that most people will just use it as a door. Yeah, exactly. Right? And another thing, so the advantage to the counterproductive ones, I know some other people make uh, the molly panels too, is I actually use my, this for my, uh, to store my nice. window inserts. Pretty good idea. Just slides back there, keeps them out of the way. And they're not sliding around the car or taking up space elsewhere. Uh, what rims and tires are you running on this? Uh, so this is, uh, I've got the MST rims that I just bought from Aerogenics because they've already done all the research and we know they work on the elements, so I just went with okay. those. Um, and then I have uh, Yokohama Geolander ATs, which I was previously running uh, BFG KO2s, mm -hmm. and we traveled cross country in those, and they are extremely loud. Oh, really? And, wow. You know, when when I'm being honest with myself, most yeah. of my driving is done on road. Got it. Ten percent on like dirt roads, fire roads, things like that. So, a less aggressive tire was uh, pretty important. And let me tell you, the the quietness of the drive is is much better. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Good to know because it's always people asking me too about like tires, and I tell them, hey, there is some all terrain tires that if you have to live with the noise right yeah, exactly you know i've actually got a, a decibel meter and recorded the difference between the two it was like 30 decibels difference or something like that so uh what kind of content do you do in your channel uh mostly just you know projects i'm doing on the car um i'll share you know if i'm modifying something or you know figuring something out um, and i'll do gear reviews every once in a while too just camping gear that i like Sounds good, guys. So make sure that you subscribe to his channel with uh, I Like Your Element. It's really nice. Yeah, thank you. Uh, nice to meet you again. Yeah, you too, man. Yeah, finally looking forward to, to meet a lot of people here. Yeah, you know, oh, yeah, this is a great place. In the back. So this is a uh, Wilco off-road hitch gate. Um, and I got this years ago. And at the time, there weren't really a lot of uh, choices for like a high clearance tire swing. Um, and I like this one because I wanted to still be able to pull a trailer. And this one actually relocates your trailer hitch up a little bit and it's rated for it can tow more than the element is capable of towing um, so that's why i picked this one it is a bit on the heavy side uh, i believe there are companies now that are making lighter ones because there's a lot of uh, guys that are making stuff for subarus mainly which mm -hmm. also need like a high clearance hitch in the back um, but this has worked out well i uh, got my bike rack mounted on the back of the tire. I can carry a full size spare. I got the front runner table here. You got the rotor pack water tank? Yes, and so here is, uh, this is a, a mid window rotor packs mount from Counterproductive. Um, and I just decided to just use it for my water container because I didn't want gas every time I'm like opening and closing the door. Um, and I also have a water spout that's made to go in the rotor packs from uh, Go Westy. So it's just like a little spigot, so I can just flip this thing over and just kind of have like a hand washing station or something like that. Awesome. You talk uh, about every little detail in your element when it comes to camping. Yeah. No, right? it's, Make it functional. It's, it's built for road trips, you know, built for camping. That's that's why I got it. Sounds good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, man. Yeah, I appreciate that. Maria, and she's going to show me her Element SC, right? Yes, this is my first time to Element. I bought it in 2012 to do animal rescue transports. So it's an 07. We have moved thousands of rescue dogs and cats from high kill shelters and puppy mills in the Midwest to safety with a whole line of other volunteers who drive these dogs to safety. So we've used it so much that we actually bought another Honda Element, which was an 06, that we just bought in November. To, because we have people who want to transport whose cars aren't conducive to it. So now we have two elements that we love, 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 and use for animal rescue. So this is my baby. There's my special license plate I just got, but we're super excited to be here and meeting all these wonderful people. So so this is this is my first love, my husband's. Oh, actually, my husband's my first love. This is my second, or it's a tie. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, so that's kind of my car. Animal rescue transport vehicle but what is the web page for um there's quite a few of them that we do it but if you go to animal rescue transport you'll find all kinds of information they're always looking for volunteers to help move on these different rescue groups to the midwest and from the south so. perfect i'm going to leave the link in the description yes and they can contact me if anybody's interested in transporting for animal rescue groups 
they are more than um, welcome to con contact me. My name is Mary, the last name is Hayslip, and I'm on Facebook, and I would be more than happy to get them information so we can drive our elements together and save lots of animals. It's a little can, dirty. Can we hold them yeah. yeah, let me. Sorry, it's a little messy here. No problem. Oh, here, let me. Here, Dave, I'm the okay. element. Sold these for a while, and I th and. This was this was donated to me, so it's got the waterproof seat covers. It also came with a dog ramp that we donated to another rescue person. It's got the pardon dirty mats, the oh, yeah. floor mats with the dog bones. Yeah, and then um, it came with the little element paw print right here. Awesome. So, but yeah, isn't that cool? And they're waterproof, so they just. Scrub yeah, right they off. are. They are it's really perfect. cool, and they are hard to see and find too. They're, yeah, because yeah. I think they made them and they just didn't sell them, but they're fantastic. So they are. Hopefully, they'll start making. And it's more. perfect for what you do. It is. It's I like represents you. Stinky dog, and I, I scrub it off, so it's perfect. Nice. So, yeah. Well, thank you for showing thank me you. your element, Mary. Thank you. Right. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. It looks like it's made out of good fabric too. Yeah. I, lo I love how like everything's like made out of like that nice canvas fabric. Yeah. <laughs> So there are 124 elements. I don't know if any more so that um, there it is. So there are 127 elements and let's start from here. I think some of the elements are already left, but at least you guys can get an idea all the elements right here. So let's start from, uh, well, right now it's like all over the place. This is at 126, but it starts from over there. That's number one. All colors make some models. They're, they're like, still, these are like so much better than stock. Like, no, yeah, yeah. anything. Uh, so the fives. Hello. Hey. It's 128 actually. Now I think it's 128 in total. So many elements. One twenty nine coming, one twenty nine. I really wanted to record or interview more people, but I've been just so happy to like talk with other people that uh, I follow it like in Instagram or YouTube and I kind of socialize more there's more people I want to talk with and I just did my best to record whatever I could there is the meeting going up there with Phoenix she's explaining about the drive which I think is a pretty good idea to do uh, look at this guys it's like I'm, I I feel like I'm in I'm in a, I feel like I'm in like a Honda Element dealership. It's Hades. I really wanted to see the fit element set up, but they already took off. I hope I have the opportunity to talk with them. 
uh, in the calm sites when we are hitting back. By the way, the Honda Element over there is for sale. It's a super clean khaki element or wheel drive, manual transmission. This one is lifted really high. Looks like it has the the six inch. This is a turbo AC, and that one is supercharged. Three. Brothers over here. Hello. There is that one with the cool lights, and I like the the front on this. It's like a bronze kind of uh, color, the front grill. One hundred and twenty nine elements for for what I count. 129. I just fixed it. <laughs> Let's go, Eric. Let's charge your uh, element. I just fixed it. It's very yeah. spacious, but it's right. Well, you have the unicorn, right? It's a manual. Yeah, it's khaki. It's five speed, but there's one right there for sale. Yes, it's for twelve for twelve thousand dollars. So, I don't feel so special. <laughs> it is, dude. It's a yeah, very rare is, color, man. This is the unicorn. I was this trying to tell unicorn. him it is a very rare color. So I got a backup camera um, here, dash cameras, lock put in. Just nothing. I use this also. It's very like handy. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I, I, without a cargo net, man, it's for groceries. But if your stuff. tires are flat, I can help you out. Nice. Um, I got some extra oil. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but I, I mean, that's good to have. But it's, and I put a sound system in it. Oh, nice. And, oh yeah, you might like this. I think you put a review camera recently, right? I saw your post on Instagram, like yes. you're working on that. Yeah, so I've got that and, and then where those two USBs are plugged in, that's a volt gauge. Oh, sweet. So it, it tells you the battery Anybody voltage. Awesome. Nice, I need one of those. Yeah, and it and it's, goes in there really nice because it's just right across from the uh, hazard button. Yeah. So that's that's really all it is. I didn't. I didn't really go crazy with it. And I've seen all your videos for like m maintaining your car, like all the job that you did on the suspension too. Yeah, that was big with this. I think I, I think I got the last strut assemblies that Honda had for these. I think I bought oh. the last ones because I went and looked after and now they're discontinued. Do you buy like the whole assembly then? Yeah. Because those are super hard to get. I cannot get those in California. They were here. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm pretty there. sure you got the last part. They were on here because, like I said, I ordered them, and then I noticed shortly after that, they were gone. They were they gone. Were, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah they are they are rare to find, too. Yeah. Not available anymore. Awesome. Well, thank, thank oh, you yeah, for showing me that. I forgot yeah, those. the It came with the car already, or do you no, install it? Do you paint it? I or actually, it... Um, Honda Pro Jason bought this for me last year mm -hmm. at the last Elements on the Dragon. Wakes me up 3 o'clock in the morning and says, here you go, and he shoves awesome. a spoiler in my face. I'm like, oh, well, that's cool. So you can actually go to it's uh, paintscratch.com and you can put in the color code and I just painted it, clear coated it, and bolted it on here. Nice. Good to know. I'm gonna go with the fast group, um, right. just so I could get ahead and start doing some filming, guys. Yeah. You got the camera? Uh, yeah, I'll be I'll be looking at you in person. I love your videos. Eric, man. nice to meet you. Thank you so much I for love, everything I you do. What you've done. Thank you so much. That, I appreciate I that. I could travel from California to here in that. Right now, Harf and I are driving back to the start of the tail of the dragon so we can get some spots before everybody drive through it and hopefully we can catch everybody elements driving in the drone and also in my phone so looking forward for it guys i wish i just had more time to record 
lot of like awesome elements builds but it's just like talking to people like meeting everybody who i follow in social media eric the car guy was there it was just like I, I i couldn't like record anymore i just have to hang out socialize and the cool thing is like a lot of them are gonna be at the campgrounds so i'm looking forward to to be at the campgrounds have a beer with some people and, and enjoy the rest of the day today tomorrow uh, monday we are going to wilmington for a mini element meetup and logan from junket elements are gonna is gonna be there so i'm just looking forward for it looking forward to hang out with them and have a great time and We're supposed to meet uh, around 4 p.m. back to the campground so everybody just can spend time together and right now it's like 4 20 p.m. so I'm driving back there yes that's the hey. first thing that pop out uh, when I was looking at you I mean, in the meetup the yes. just Kind of like painted, right? No, that's or, real copper. Oh, really? That's so real. you build the whole grill? Oh, oh, wow. That's real. I thought like you painted or something. No, that's, that's a real copper. I yeah, that's there. awesome. Yeah, I, I like it. Because I, I work with metals and woods. Oh, when I, cool. did the, the, I put it in like an acid wash and vinegar and salt and got that patina look to it and everything and then clear coated over it so it'll stay like that. It's five millimeter copper. You can build like a whole body armor. I mean, <laughs> but, yeah, you build that, you can. It's, it's, a, it's a really thick aluminum foil, basically what it was. If it's, if it's aluminum foil would tear apart and everything. This is just a little bit thicker, but thin enough that I could shape it around and do everything I wanted with it. What is your name again? Rob. Oh, Rob, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you Thank sir. you so much for showing me your element. I mean, what's your name? Uh, Miguel. Miguel, Miguel. Yeah. Nice so we are just goodness. hanging out with a lot of elements, talking about elements. Element That's what element owners does, right? Talk about yeah. elements. It shows the love, man. These things are like 20 years old and they're still running strong. It's a Honda, a good, reliable car. You know what to do with them. They'll last forever. I seen some guy there the other day posted 550,000 original motor. That's amazing. That's, they're good cars, man. Can't beat them. And if you guys notice around, there is many elements. Like all the campground is full of the elements just around. All that area is full of elements too. I'm with Element DIY right here. Nice. We are at the campgrounds and what do you have here for sale? I've got some front end, some bumpers. I've got a black one in there. That one looks clean. Very clean. A lot of people have been interested in that, so I don't expect it to be around. This is a piece I'm really excited about. It's a uh, OEM backup camera. To be honest, I didn't even know it existed until I found it and I pulled it off and brought it home. It's the first time I see it in person too. So we've rewired this. So it used to would plug into the nav harness that went to the back, but this one's rewired. It's got enough cable that it'll run the whole way up to your modern unit. I've also got some consoles over there. I've got an SC console. A Let's go check console. it out. Yeah. 
Do you do you uh, ship too? The bigger stuff I tend to stay away from shipping, but I will ship. The consoles is about as big as I'll ship. So you got everything here: an SC, like the newer, the F-150, and you also have some uh, can fuel canisters over there. Now these have already been set up and modded to go in. I've taken everything off. And I've also put a USB and a USB-C awesome. in the back. I did that same mod to this one. It's got the USB and it's just wired right into the harness. So you plug it right plug in and, play. and it's ready to go. Awesome. And I noticed in your Instagram, because I follow you, that you do a lot of uh, like uh, printing on like caps. Yes. Like in Max, can I see what you got over there? I... Actually, you did mine, right? I did yours. Yeah, sounds, yeah. sounds um, good. Did you like it? I love it. I'm going to show in this video. So okay. guys, make sure to follow Element DIY. And I'm on Facebook and Instagram. I just launched the website, so it's a little sparse right now. But I love doing designs for stuff. So these ones here, this is a three pack of leather cubby uh, holders. They go inside of the cubbies on your dash and they've got a non-skid felt material on the back so they stop things from rubbing around from rolling around and rattling and they go in those three cubbies right there above the glove box and you can do all these like any design too for like according to whoever wants it absolutely uh, if you it's if you go to my website you'll be able to find a link to my etsy store which is element diy there's 10 different designs there including state specific designs so if you want i've got a Texas one right here, right? So that's my Texas design. Probably a little difficult to see through the plastic. There it is. I see it. Here's a better one. Here's a North Carolina. Link in the description, guys. Um, what else do you offer for the element owners the right here? And I got a handful of t-shirts left, but I love the designs really my passion. I love coming up with designs. So this one was a fun one to come up with lately. Shaken, not stirred. With some elements in place of the olives awesome. and also one of my new designs was the one about this is not a phase which i don't have out my favorite but it has the phases of the moon on around and it says not just a phase on it so i like it this one actually will work a lot better on a license plate frame which mm. I'm currently designing I have a few prototypes here these aren't ready for sale because I haven't dialed them in yet but my screw era dynamics in my element like how that one works out on that one it's not a phase and I, when I get this up and running I'll be able to do them in blue and red start looking for some other colors other suppliers for different colors too and your teachers looks uh, pretty cool too yeah Thank I've you. seen those teachers around when I go to meetups. Some yeah. people are wearing uh, your shirts. I send them out to the West Coast all the time. These are the last three. There it is. And the next round will come out next month and they're going to have the updated logo. All right. Which one is your updated logo? It's here on the back. So I took, I took a photograph of the car, ran it into the design software and traced over top of it. Cool. Thank you so much for showing like what are you, what are you doing for the element community yeah. really i appreciate that it's so keep the good work it's great to meet you and it's great i get to send parts out all over the us and into canada and when somebody's desperate for a part and they really need it you know it's quite satisfying to be able to make sure to contact you too to right there, yeah. so we can find you in instagram facebook exit yep and also, I think you have a YouTube channel. I run a YouTube channel. Yeah, I follow so it's you. So, under the same name. also, I'm gonna leave it in the descriptions for anybody who wants to check out. Make sure that you comment, like, and subscribe to his channel. Okay. Thank you very much. It's great to meet you, Miguel. I never, I didn't know you were coming the whole way out here right? for this until <laughs> like a week ago. Thank you. So it's great. I'm just hanging out here, and let's go check out the cars over there. Hopefully, I can see fit element set up. I was so busy during the meetup and I really wanted to see the, the fit element set up but we ran out of time and hopefully we can cash a uh, fit element. There is another element owner coming right here. Hello. Hello Chuck. Hi Chuck. I have an answer. 
This guy's got something I've never seen. The weather is amazing. Talking with people, some people are grilling, talking about elements, and it's a good day. Hello. Hey. There's this red uh, element with a pop camper top on top. Logan, I hear that you have an element song. Uh, it's called okay. I Love I Love My Element. I wish I had an element song to sing, but I don't. You have to make one. I'll have to, yeah. They got For few, next year. Yeah, they got a few element songs out right now, but none that I can sing. You got one of the rarest element parts. Yeah, they're pretty hard to find. How do you like it? Uh... For the once in a blue moon I use it, I like it a lot. So like right now you were sitting on your tailgate playing a guitar? Yeah, like that's the perfect time to use it. I mean, if you're watching a sunset on a mm -hmm. date or something, they're perfect for that. So. Look at this guys, all the elements. Oh, this is a cool, cool element with a lot of uh, nice color lights. There is a lot of work put into the, the lights. Pretty cool rig and it has like the CRB mount. Clean, clean, clean. That roof rack is, is nice too. This Sony Blue looks like it just came out from the Honda dealer. Hello, is this a 2024 Honda Element? <laughs> it looks like it just came out of the lot. It's super clean. Those are the like uh, Acura, yes, right? Yes, TSL. You powder coat them? No, it's duplicolor oh. spray paint. Okay, it looks pretty good. <laughs> Three coats. Yeah, Three I was admiring ago. your uh, your paint. Like it's like just so this a, clean. This is a it's factory only blue pearl. Yeah, it's super rare. Think, did you spray that? No. It yeah, it looks clean. Factory. And you like put a film on the headlights? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can we see the interior yeah. really quick? I try to sleep like that, but in my older element yeah. and the seat sucks, the seats but are these different. ones, yeah, the is, ones yeah they are more different. comfortable. So that's something I will have to try in the future. Like Good to know. Yes. That's huge. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you have a, like a house here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you got everything, chairs, all yeah. your equipment. Thank you for being part of these events. <laughs> Thank, uh, you. thank you for showing me your element. Yes. Very cool, Aoni. With a suction cup on the glass. No, they do bottle it. They're not allowed to sell it at the brewery. Buy it from the brewery. That's so screwed up. Let's go that way. Oh, that's cool. They looks like they got just a regular cabinet and turned it into a into a bed. I wonder why they got this, where they got this, or if they build it their own. But it looks pretty cool. That's a pretty cool roof tent. And with a rough DC roof rack, it make it kind of flash. And the snorkels the lift looks pretty cool how do you like your cabana tent i like it it's pretty cool with the poles too yeah <clears throat> I think these are just kind of standard tent poles, but uh, I'm from somebody else. We got this used. They hardly used it. So. You got the, the black tent, which is even harder to find. The black one? Yeah. Usually yeah. you find the other color. I forgot what the name of is the it? color. Oh. Kind of I like a... Know. Yeah, I don't know the color, but these ones are super rare to find wow. in black. I've been looking for one for a long time. I have three of the other color. Wow. So 
We got something. I was talking to a lady cool. here earlier that said she has one. Hi, Miguel. Hello. Alex from Buffalo. You have a YouTube channel, right? Yes. Make sure you guys subscribe to his channel. He also does element content. And so. Instagram, um, Hondro Element. Perfect. I'm going to leave the link in the description. Yes. Thank you. Sounds good. See you around. Thanks. Take care. It's 9 p.m. right now and they are making a raffle. They have a lot of prizes. Hello. They got a lot of prizes and they're going to raffle it between all the element owners. All the element owners hanging out. Oh, that was too open. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah. Miguel, how are you doing, sir? How's life? Thank you for bringing this all the way from Texas. Yes. Yeah, it's very good. It's tasty. Yes. This is all the prices that you can get. There is some cleaning stuff. I think this is for the steering wheel, like table. Eric, the car guy, teachers. Uh, some uh, OEM stuff. This battery treatment kit. Those ones looks really nice over there. Wow, there is so many things. Excuse me. Let's keep checking. There is. A lot of things here. Very nice kitchen. A lot of flashlights. It's pretty cool. I really like this piece. So you put all this together, right, Phoenix? That's why you came like two days before and you were just... <laughs> now I don't understand. It's not easy to do all this. Yeah. And you're still like... Like a regular day, smiling and enjoying. That's pretty good. Thank you for doing this. Yeah, really appreciate it. Beautiful. It's awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for an amazing day. I had a great time. Did you guys have a good time? Yeah. Woo. Awesome. Okay. Um, the raffle this year is insane. The raffle. And I just want to say, not just to the people that came from California, but to everyone that came from everywhere, thank you so much for taking the time to be here. Thank you! Okay, all right, cast your votes. All right, let's do it. You got it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He has no interest in music. He, he, he wants to play with the poodle. He's like, he's like I mean, are you sure you should play with that word? Yeah. Um, it is springtime. I know, right? Love is in the air, as they would say. Stuff doesn't come running out. We get some either uh, GM synchronous transmission fluid or Honda transmission fluid, Honda manual transmission fluid. Top it off. Or better yet, if it is low, I'm getting a school by just do the car guy. Three, one, three, nine. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Which bag has the clutch sleeve cylinder in it? One more. One three zero seven five. Yeah. Nice. Nice. 